Hey guys, what's up? Culprit here. I'm bringing you my first episode of my new series, and I'm calling it Reboot Camp. Uh, if the uh, title doesn't give it away, it's going to be a series basically about my trials and tribulations of becoming a PC gamer again. Uh, it ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to apologize right now for the gameplay. It's really not that great, but that's kind of the point. Uh, without it, we wouldn't have a baseline. We wouldn't have any point of reference. And uh, So I just want to kind of give you a quick little clip out. Um, it's actually not very quick. It's about 10 minutes. I tried to edit it down as much as I can, but uh, I didn't have too much luck. But it is kind of slow. But again, I needed a frame of reference. I needed something I hopefully can look back on later and laugh at. And I feel like I already could. I mean, so many things like that, tripping over a potted plant. I mean, that's just crazy. That's just me struggling with the controls. Um, you'll see a lot of stuff in here that's just, you, you're going to scratch your head. Um, but, you know, that's that's part of it. And I'm not afraid of uploading something that's embarrassing uploading something's bad as long as I feel like later on I can I can laugh at it and that's kind of the point and hopefully it'll be entertaining for you and hopefully we can all kind of learn something uh, basically I'm going to give a little background on why this series is even necessary and as I mentioned a little bit in the intro video I made is that I took a quite a big time off from PC gaming uh, probably about five six years I'm not exactly sure uh, the last FPS I really played kind of kind of a lot of was Battlefield 2 and I did play the Spec Ops, you know, expansion, so that was 2005-ish, so say 2006, it's probably at least five years that I that I did not play a PC, definitely did not play FPS on a PC, because frankly I just didn't have a PC that could really run anything. Um, uh, th that was part of the problem, my PC kind of got outdated, um, like I mentioned at the time I had just kind of met my girlfriend, uh, who is now my wife, and uh, we were both just kind of working real hard and working a lot and saving money trying to you know, save to buy a house, uh, save for our wedding, and we also knew that, you know, we wanted to start a family, so my priorities were elsewhere, and so, you know, you kind of don't have time for gaming, you don't have the extra money to throw around, so it goes by the wayside. That is part of the reason why I did kind of get into console gaming, and of course the console gaming then reignited my wanting to play PC. So, here we are. I have basically every console and PC, and now I'm making videos, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, if that wasn't enough, the actual rust of not playing on PC forever, I decided to tr just just bite the bullet. Uh, I'm actually left-handed, and I do remember back in the day I felt I felt you know handicapped almost because it wasn't the equipment for a left-handed guy. Uh, they didn't really have any specific you know left-handed mice or anything like that, and I had seen that Rat Seven mouse and I was like, wow, that's that's pretty sexy. That thing's that thing's nice, and uh, you know all the thoughts of what I could do with it and mapping buttons and whatnot. So I will look around. There's nothing. There's really nothing for a left-hander. I mean, there's there's things that are advertised for left-handed, but they're really just universal mice that can be used with either hand. Maybe like the Death Adder or something like that. So I just you know figuring I was gonna be terrible anyway. I was gonna have to relearn everything. I just said screw it. Why not just train myself to play right-handed? So that is also what I'm setting out to do. Uh, another big kind of concern for me was. There, there was unmappable keys in some games, and I think Battlefield even had it with Q and uh, spotting that you couldn't remap that to what you wanted. And I don't know how I would actually be a good player and play the fucking objective without actually being able to, you know, spot people. So I kind of just bit the bullet and said, let's just do it, see how it goes. I've actually been okay. Definitely it's added some uh, difficulty to it. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to, you know, see an improvement as long as I'm seeing improvement. I'll grind the time, and, and I'll, I feel like I'll be a better player for it. As far as, you know, this particular gameplay here is, like I said, you'll see a lot of crazy things. Uh, like right there, sh I don't know. I, th I think I'm in there trying to mess with my mouse sensitivity or something. You'll notice that several times I'll go to, like, maybe drop a health pack, or uh, you, you'll barely see me do the revive kit. And the basic reason is I had a, I had a glitch or uh, something messed up with my hotkeys I, that I had apparently done where any time I move my mouse on the x-axis, the horizontal axis, it would rearm my primary. So if I went to throw a med pack and then I looked to my right, it would automatically right back to my primary. And it will, you know, I, I was basically unable to use anything. Uh, med pack, rocket on an engineer, uh, you know, revive paddles, even grenade or secondary. It was very frustrating. It took me a couple of days to figure out. I went so far as to take my mouse out and eliminate things. And lo and behold, I, I looked in there and realized that I had somehow messed up my settings. So, you know, once I got that resolved, it definitely helped my game come along, come, along, come around a lot. I, you'll see a lot of, you know, the gun jitters and stuff, and that, that's mostly because I'm using my right hand. Uh, by far, though, the, the hardest part about learning 
to play right-handed has been moving. My left hand is just not used to touch, you know, moving all these buttons and stuff, and I'm, I'm very clunky. And unfortunately, that's why you watch this gameplay. That it's pretty campy. Um, I, I kind of figured out early that between having the problems with the hotkeys and just not being able to move much, that I was going to have to kind of hold down a spot. Yeah, I'm kind of a little embarrassed by the gameplay, but I know why I was doing it. So, and you'll rarely see too much of this going forward, so it won't be too bad. And I couldn't believe these guys just kept filing into this room, frankly. Uh, some of you are going to wonder, like, how are you still this bad? And I, I think I'm level 13 in this video. Uh, truth is that I had a buddy come over and wanted to check out the new PC, and he played a bunch of games on my account. He must have knocked out a, at least a good seven or eight, maybe even more, of the levels. So, a little, little boost in there. So, I'm not actually a true level 13. Uh, so that's why my like my play doesn't exactly fit the hours that might you know might have been put into it. Uh, I think I'm about level 21 right now as I sit. You know this video is a little old now, and my play is definitely getting a lot better. So I'm happy about that, and I should be pumping out some new videos for you, uh, so that you can see the, some of the progress I'm making. Everything's a lot more smooth. And I've I've definitely figured out uh, my uh, my mouse hotkeys. I've definitely got all the, the other buttons kind of situated. I, I am debating changing basically the E and the R. Just kind of make reload a little easier. I've held off on doing that because I do want to keep it as stock as possible. I've also thought about uh, changing the prone to like caps lock or something like that. Because my pinky just it just can't handle that stuff. It, it's kind of annoying. Uh, I did change the crouch to the crouch toggle. But other than that, nothing, nothing crazy. And I'm just... Basically, just trying to trying to learn it and get used to it, so that I don't have to think about it. That's probably the biggest problem. You'll see me, and you know, I'll shoot the gun, and then I need to reload, and there's a half second delay, and that, that's basically my brain going, "Okay, reload is R. Where is R? Press R." You know, it's it's annoying, and it's probably the biggest hurdle right now. And it, it's getting there. It's getting a lot better. You know, I obviously know where the R key is, but when you actually actually have to think about it, and this is another thing that drives me nuts. I do this a lot. Uh, I haven't noticed as much on console, but I tend to throw the med pack right on the guy as he dies. And as we all know, the glitch in kind of Battlefield is then you can't revive the guy if there's something on top of him. Or at least I haven't had much luck. So if there is a way to do it, please tell me. I would appreciate that. Because um, that's very frustrating. Because I, I just seem to have terrible timing. And I get the med pack right on the guy as he's laying on the ground. Where normally I'd be able to get the easy revive and everybody would be happy. Uh, looking ahead, you know, like I said, I, I've already made some progress. Uh, this is obviously a TDM match. You're going to probably see a lot of TDM in the beginning because that was just the best way for me to get in, run around, get as much, you know, minute for minute practice as I could because I just didn't want to play a 20 minute rush game that I wasn't moving around much, that I wasn't in a lot of gunfights because I, I, needed, I needed to be in gunfights. I needed to learn. I needed to take a crash course, basically. And But I, th I think I'm at the point now, I'm starting to really be consistently well over, you know, well positive in my KD and TDM matches, and frankly, I'm probably getting a little bored of TDM, although I haven't played a couple days now. Uh, but I'm looking to get more into Rush, more into Conquest, especially on PC. I want to play around with the larger servers and things like that. So you'll see a little more variety coming up, but definitely up until probably about level 20, I've, I've pretty much played predominantly uh, TDM by far. Uh, and, I, you know, it just made the most sense to level up my guns and, and, and get get my feet under myself. And See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just like, just camping a little too much <laughs> for me. And, you know, I, I watch this video now and I realize that had this had this match been played even a couple days later, maybe even a week later, we definitely would have won because I would have been out running around a lot more and been able to make a lot more of an imprint on my team. I think I won 11-3 and three or something, you know, and that was just me literally grinding trying more I was just trying not to be a detriment to my team you know I was trying to learn I was trying to trying to get my gun skills up but I also didn't want to be that anchor on my team especially in a close match um, I had matches where you know my team just rolled them and obviously you know we were up 20 30 tickets then I, yeah I would get out and I would run around and I didn't really give a crap about my, my KD which I usually don't but you know if, if my team's in a close match I don't want to be that guy that goes 5 and 20 <laughs> if, what, for whatever reason it just kills me because I've been on the other side so many times that I try to avoid being that guy. So uh, I, this video is pretty much wrapping up right here. It's going to be another couple kills, and we do get the loss, but that's TDM, and I don't really pay attention to that too much, especially when I'm trying to learn specific things. So if you listen this long, I appreciate it, and I do promise you better gameplays in the future. Uh, really can't do too much worse. 
And uh, like I said, I, I do appreciate you listening, and I hope you tune back in for some more videos coming soon. Thanks a lot. Good night.